Hello, welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Today we're going to be starting some seeds here in our kitchen, obviously, uh, for this season. Uh, we're here in North Carolina, Zone 7B. It's the uh, first week of March, and so this is probably six to eight weeks before the date of the last normal frost in our area. And uh, so we will be starting these indoors. I got this tray that we'll be planting them in. And uh, typically, um, I plant one row, skip a row, plant a row, skip a row, with each row being a different variety, because I got a bunch of different varieties of tomato plants mostly, and a couple of other things that can take a little bit of cold weather, a little bit of frost, but not much, like some, I got some cabbage and things. Um, but I found if I plant every other row, I have less trouble with uh, dropping a seed that ends up in the row beside of it and then I, something grows and I don't know what it is. Particularly with tomato plants because a lot of them, they look just alike until they start putting on fruit. So anyway, uh, we're going to be filling this with dirt. I got this tray that I'll be setting it in and after we're finished we'll use this tray for a little bit of water in the bottom so they'll have moisture from the bottom up and uh, we'll keep them in our house here in the kitchen until they start to sprout. Now once they start to sprout, I don't have grow lights. I have a cold frame outside. And in another video, we'll be showing you our cold frame and how we move them outside once they start to germinate so they get that good, strong sunlight and a little bit cooler, cooler weather so they germinate and we get good, hardy plants. But we'll be showing that in another video. But anyway, this is Do It Yourself with Wayne. Appreciate you visiting. Our channel is all about helping you to learn how to do things yourself to save money. So if you're interested in saving money, subscribe to our channel. We'll help you with that. All right. Now, the first thing we're going to do, well, I got my tray. I already showed you that. I got my box here of my old seeds. I got my, my tray here with uh, all the different labels and stuff. And uh, I got a bunch of seeds laid out here. Some of these seeds are three years old. Some two, some one, and there's a couple packs of stuff I bought this year, but it's all stuff that I can start early and not have to worry about, you know, the cold killing it. Uh, so anyway, that's what we're going to do. So let's start with putting some dirt in our tray. Now some years, I'll go out and buy the good seed starting soil. This year I've decided not to do that. Uh, this is dirt that we had in some raised beds last year. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think this was soil that we had our potatoes growing in. Not that it really matters, but it's good, fine soil. It'll work great for what we're doing here. But I just pour it in there, spread it out, fill up all the little holes. like that just take the tree and bounce it a little bit make sure there's no air pockets in some of the tree in the little pockets because sometimes there will be just brush across here a little bit some little roots in here from last year from the potatoes or whatever all right now we're going to start planting our seeds and basically i'm going to start at this end with this year's seeds, the seeds I just purchased. And as I go this way, it'll be older seeds. And in time, uh, we'll do a video about our germination rate to show you how, you know, what kind of success we had with our older seeds. Cause like I said, some of them were uh, packaged for the 2017 year. This is 2021, February. So uh, we'll see what the germination rate ends up as. So anyway, we're gonna start with our seeds. And like I said, plant one row at a time. I label the row with my little sticks. I generally put one stick in the end pocket and then skip that little hole. See what I got here. I put my, my, my tag here in that hole and I skip. I don't put a seed there. I just start there and just come down the list or down the row and plant as many as I want to. Sometimes I don't fill a row up. Most of the time I do, but it just depends on how many seeds I got and how many of that particular plant I want. So let's get started. Okay, this is what you saw us set up a little bit ago. 
Uh, we got our dirt filled in all our trays. I'm gonna set my set my first little tag, and my tag broke. Look at that. That'll be all right. Now these are uh, Rudger tomatoes. Uh, I just bought these this year, so they're good and fresh seeds. And I'm gonna come down through there, and I'm gonna put one seed in each of these little pockets. And uh, some people would tell you to put two seeds in there, and when they come up, weed out the, the weaker one. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put them all in there, and just one at a time, and see how it goes. So there we go. And I'm going to put the rest of them back in my package, and i save that for later. Now to show you what I'm going to do, I take and just press these down a little bit, just each one. Just press the seed down a little bit. Now that's all I do for right now. But when I get through filling in all my seeds, I'll come back, I'll put more dirt on here and smooth it out. That way each of those little seeds will be covered up with just a little bit of dirt. Not enough, but enough to keep them damp so they'll germinate. So now the next row is gonna be cabbage. I'll try not to break this stick. So I got my cabbage here. More than enough seeds. I'll give you enough seeds. I can plant cabbage for the half the county, I think. Anyway, put one little seed in each hole. I think that one got more than one. Try to move that over. Some of these seeds are so small it's hard to tell when you put one in a hole. But uh, just do the best you can and let it go. Gardening is not an exact science. It doesn't matter if you get things wrong or, you know, we all make mistakes. We all have bad years, but uh, with experience, things get better. All right, this is a bit of real cauliflower here. And like I said, all of these that I'm planting right now are this year's seed. Now I'm going to put these two rows right next to each other because both of them are Cherokee purple. Uh, this is the 4th of July variety. And I labeled that one wrong. <clears throat> the difference here, one of these packages with Cherokee purples was packaged for the year 2019. The other row, the ones I'm getting ready to plant now, were packaged for 2017. So that'll give us a good indication of that variety. They're both from Burpee, about germination rate from seeds that are getting old. Now at this point, I got all my seeds planted that I'm going to plant. Uh, the first uh, four or five rows was this year's seeds, and then I got one I don't know about, and then I got some 2018, 2019, 2017. So we'll see how the, the germination rate is over time. But like I said earlier, I went through and pressed down every seed just a little bit, just get it pushed down some, then I come back and just sprinkle dirt over the top to fill those little indentions up. Something like that. After you spread your dirt on there and you're raking it down level, always come this way. Don't go this way. 
because if you go if you wipe this away to get the dirt level if you happen to pick up a seed it can end up in the wrong row and now your varieties are mixed up so if when you rake your dirt level always go in the direction of your rows okay doesn't hurt to just pack it a little bit like that it doesn't take much but here don't don't do this in each one just a little lightly over the top now we're just going to take and put water in our tray like i said the we've cleaned out all the dirt and and now we're just going to put water in our tray and i'm not going to pour it directly on the seeds i'm going to pour it in the side and the plants will get uh, water from underneath don't need to put a lot in there you just want enough in there that the bottom of the tray will get wet and those seeds can start soaking up water might need a little bit more That should be plenty. So there you have it. That's how we start our seeds for our vegetable garden in the summertime. And um, you know, we'd really appreciate it if you click like on our video and subscribe to our channel. Those things help us grow. It also helps you, uh, particularly if you subscribe to our channel. It makes it easier to find our future videos as well as our previous videos. And we will be doing more videos with this project. Um, we'll be hopefully anyway doing one about the germination rate we'll be doing one about moving them to the cold frame when we transplant them into larger pots when we plant them in the garden this is a whole process and we'll be doing videos of all these different steps and if things of that nature are interesting to you you know subscribe to our channel It'll make it easier for you to find those videos as we move along so anyway that's it for starting our seeds indoors for this gardening season we want to, again, thank you for visiting Do It Yourself with Wayne, and we hope you have a great gardening season.